Sup guys, it's Tenkosh, and today we'll take a look at all the classes in Soul Knight Prequel, so you can compare the gameplay difference between different endgame classes, so you will know which one to develop yourself. Let's go. First, the Stormblade. Stormblade features uh, quick attacks, several skills that increase its mobility, some AoE options, and ultimate that allows him to get even more movement, so mostly it's more about mobility, and uh and speed obviously you can go for different build but that's what i picked i've got the smooth sailing uh i've got the shatter tempest aura so yeah variety of skills will allow you to do pretty decent away attack and move around pretty fast doing damage to enemies pretty dope but it's not my favorite class so far war leech this dude features a lot of crazy away attacks my sword right now is doing insane damage just with the normal attack and yeah this whirlwind can last for a while and do damage to everyone so it's perfect away attack another set of skills will give us different results because well it's it's different it's more single target focus because more or less we got a different weapon some of those attacks are doing crazy attack speed and yeah if you get the proper weapon for this it will get crazy AOE as well so yeah you can massacre enemies just as easily so yeah pretty fun class for crazy AOE attacks pyro knight obviously they got a lot of pyro attacks and it features several elements as you can see on top of the character you get those things up and they stack uh once again different sets have different abilities but overall you can enjoy quite a lot of damage with this guy. So yeah, pretty decent AOE damage, although not that high range, and uh, quite a lot of different elemental attacks. Bastion is a character with crazy ranged attacks, so yeah, you can decimate enemies, no problem. If you get a lot of enemies, you can use all your skills to wage massacre around, and yeah, you can put the towers... You can uh, shoot the enemies, they're all dead already, my god. So yeah, and you can switch between two presets again in order to do even more DPS. So overall, I would say that's a pretty decent character. So yeah, as you can see, this character is doing a really good job destroying everything around it and being very powerful. So far, I like Bastion kind of the most because it does so much ranged attacks and they're way too good. Next one is Ranger, and this is another ranged character that does insane things to the enemies. Look at that, it's, it's a goddamn massacre. So I think the ranged characters are pretty much overpowered in this game. Since their range allow them to destroy enemies before they come to you, they got insane amount of skills that does that stuff to the enemies. And yeah, overall, it feels just easier. So yeah, if you get your skills right, you can enjoy quite a lot of crazy massacre right here. Destroying the enemies like there is no tomorrow. Seems very easy and fun. Moreover, the ranged characters feels like they have higher movement speed. Soul Keeper is the next character and it's focused on summoning different beings that will fight on its side. So we got a lot of elementals that are fighting on our side and doing damage to the enemies and uh, as you can see they are very powerful and we can just enjoy, relax and let them do all the hard job or swing our sword as well so it does matter. So yeah, basically the summoner. And once you summoned your minions you can switch to the second set of skills and uh you know do do the attacks and everything so yeah two skill sets together work really well because you got a lot of minions that can do all the hard work you can just avoid the enemy or you can go into the battle yourself so it's up to you which path to take here although there are some skills that will drain your life like this mortal pack so you will lose life all the time but you will get uh, restore life based on the damage dealt so uh, it's more action-packed uh, build than you can get different options again for each character next one is shinobi what's uh, not so good about shinobi that it's pretty slow but it got a lot of um, mirror copies of her so uh, take a look we got the summon kind of the summoner as well because there are different copies of us Attacking enemies and we can use the grappling hook in order to move closer to the enemy, which is pretty insane. On the second spell bar we got some uh, action moves that will allow us to avoid becoming invisible um, and even more attacks. So yeah, once again, pretty nice character build that can decimate everyone, but it's more... I would say single target and stealthy, like hit and run tactics. And the last class for today, Elementalist. This is insane, it's just decimating everything, take a look at that. 
It have a bit low mobility in comparison with other classes, but its damage is really insane. AOA capabilities destroying everything. Look at that mess. We don't have the second set of spells yet, but we don't need one. Look at this massacre on the screen. Everything is being destroyed. Oh my god. Cool. Can you imagine someone surviving that? And th those are all different elements, by the way. You got the fire and ice and lightning at the same time. So yeah, the only drawback of this class right now that if you would like to avoid enemy projectiles or something, that might be troublesome because, yeah, all the screen is full of effects of our spells and attacks and <laughs> it's really dope. It's really dope. If you can't take out enemies before they take you out, you will be good. Second set of spells isn't worse than that. It's kinda just as good. So you can add even more spells here. And yeah, this is my favorite class so far because it's doing so much ranged AOE damage that going through everything is easy. This and Ranger 1 seems to be really, really OP. So yeah, guys, when you are creating the new character and deciding which path to take, you can decide one of those paths right now by just taking a quick look at their possibilities but i would say all of those are pretty powerful there are no downsides there are no like really weak classes so it's pretty balanced and nice although ranged one seems to be way easier to control because you don't have to be close to the enemies you can deal the damage from the range so yeah let me know in the comments what's your favorite class in soul knight prequel and write what do you think of this video as well because your comments likes and subscriptions will help to promote the video in youtube algorithm and i would appreciate that quite a lot also check out the video description for additional links ld player that's how i play this game on the pc android emulator very useful my other youtube channels social media and discord other than that thank you very much for watching it's been stan kosh have a good one bye